staying in the NBA in the Western Conference, everyone knows I've been quite vocal about the New Orleans Pelicans. In particular, Zion Williamson and his weight. So much so that the team came to his defense on their social media by posting my college scoring averages at Winston-Salem State on X. It was all a lie because I didn't have any damn stats because I got injured and never played, but that's beside the point because it's irrelevant today. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to talk about Zion's weight, but more so his play that has sparked the Pelicans to a 40-26 and 26 record. They are now holding the fifth spot in the Western Conference with just 16 games remaining in the regular season. Zion Williamson, have you seen him? The brothers averaging nearly 24 and 7. They're winning basketball games. They're the number one team defensively with efficiency. They're one of the very few teams, five teams in the NBA, that are both top 11 in offensive and defensive efficiency. Okay? They've been winning basketball games, and they've been beating everybody up while they've been doing it. The New Orleans Pelicans are being led by Zion Williamson, who's playing like a number one overall pick. Much props, much loves to him. We're going to see what he does as the, as the playoffs approach. They've got C.J. McCollum on there. They've got Brandon Ingram on there. They've got Valanchunas on there. They've got Herbert Jones on there. They've got size. They've got athleticism. They've got perimeter shooting. They've got veteran leadership. they got a man-child in Zion Williamson who looks stealth, like he lost weight. He stayed off the burgers and the steaks. He ain't hiding food under his bed or anything like that from the team. The brother's focused. And that Zion Williamson... I got news for you. The New Orleans Pelicans could go to the finals. I'm not saying they're doing that. I'm not saying they're better than Denver. I'm saying they've been playing exceptionally well, and they have all the pieces in place to make a run. We cannot ignore that. We got to give props where it's due because Stephen A is a fair-minded individual, and I would never, ever allow my personal disgust with people who tried to troll me to camouflage reality. Reality is New Orleans can beat anybody, anybody, or they could lose to anybody if they ain't focused. Acknowledging as much is the fair and righteous thing to do. And if I'm nothing else, I am fair. If not, dare I say righteous.